my name is Amanda Salida, I'm working with Blue Black Art. We start with cornstarch and food coloring, which I already laid out in the bowls. And I did this with my two year old. This is great for two up to six years old. It's a fun, messy project, so just be prepared for that. I'm gonna add some water as it thins. Ublek got its name from the storybook written by Dr. Seuss called Bartholomew and Ublek. It's a great piece of children's literature you can add to enhance this project and the children's understanding of Ublek. The first thing you want to do is clear a space because this project's about to get messy. The second thing you want to do is gather six jars or bowls. These are going to be used for your colors. You want three for the primary colors and three for the secondary colors. Next, gather the rest of your materials. You'll need a canvas or white piece of paper, cornstarch, food coloring. I have the three primary colors right here, red, yellow, and blue, and six spoons. You'll also need water to do this project as well. Next, get your artist. I'll be working with a two-year-old for this project, so I recommend putting the cornstarch in a bowl. Another good idea is maybe putting down some newspaper um, so it doesn't get too, too messy with the two-year-old. Up to you. To make this easier for the two-year-old, I'm gonna be breaking it down into steps. The first step he's going to do is put two scoops into the cup. Mitchell, take the spoon, two scoops. Here, grab the spoon. Grab the spoon. Here's the spoon, grab the spoon. Yeah, two scoops. Into the cup. Yeah. One. Okay, one more. Two. We're gonna repeat this for the six cups. Now add your food coloring and water and stir until you get the desired consistency. When mixing the food coloring, use the primary colors to get your secondary colors. You can use this as an opportunity to talk about how things change. Ublek is a milky white, shiny substance known as a non-Newtonian fluid. It flows like thick paint when you pour it, but mash your hand onto its surface and it forms a hard skin. Squeeze some in your palm and it will form a tough glob. But the second you release it, Ublek trickles down over your fingers into a slurry. It's gross, it's fun, and any kid will be caught up in its magical ability to switch back and forth between a solid and liquid. The best part is when it dries, most of the time you just sweep it up because it turns into a powder. So it's messy and fun, but easy to clean up. Ublek is easy to make because you can always add cornstarch if it's too thin, and you can always add water if it's too thick. Ublek makes for a great sensory experience. Stir until you get a consistency like this. It's liquid, but then it's a solid on the spoon. Now to make your masterpiece. Yeah. You can have your child use the spoon, their hands, to put the oobleck on their canvas. Feel free to add a little bit more dye to make the colors even more vibrant. Oobleck is a great activity for teachers to expand on using a child's fine motor skills. They can make it more challenging by adding droppers to add the water and food coloring or spoons to move the oobleck to the canvas or they can just use it as a sensory experience where the child can manipulate it with their hands. In reference to the California Learning Foundations Volume 2 Preschool Book, this project relates to 2.4. Use paper and other materials to make two and three dimensional assembled works. When the oobleck is applied to the paper or canvas, it is raised and it creates a three dimensional activity. This piece also relates to 2.6, demonstrate increasing coordination and motor control when working with visual arts tools, 
especially if you decide to use the droppers or spoons when mixing the oobleck. This activity also works on the science section in volume three. It relates to scientific inquiry and the physical sciences. In the physical sciences, it relates to 1.1, which is demonstrate increased ability to observe, investigate, and describe in greater detail the characteristics and physical properties of objects and of solid and non-solid materials. Overall, this was a great activity. I would just add more food coloring to get more vibrant colors and not leave the project out in the sun too long. Otherwise, it cracks. After it's all done, feel free to put it outside to dry.